Rebooting process complete. Error. I am stuck on the f f f f f f f floor. And I'll use athletics. Emergency! To help him. Emergency! I'm helping pick him up. Uh, exterminate. There we go. <laughs> I didn't my last one. Yeah, sure. He adds an exterminate for good measure. Exterminate, John Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha, stop it! You know better. Now get up. <laughs> and he helps. Apologies. Him up with the six. I help him up with the six. So. Okay, cool. No, you didn't need to roll anything. It's you just need, you just help him up. Okay. This unit will now proceed to the. Uh, what's the generator room to assist. Mr. Randy Stevens. You stay the hell away from my room with your malfunctioning software. <laughs> this unit can assist. And he drives off towards the uh, generator room. <laughs> <laughs> I will assist. Randy, Hand over the cleaning unit. And he like grabs your broom. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. Never. Hand it Randy. over. <laughs> Randy, play nice with Alpha. How many times have I told you? Do you They're now fighting over the mob. This is my job. Get away from it. Yes, this unit is better over. equipped to clean. I look over to Stefan and I say, Excuse me a moment, business dude. And he runs over to help Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you do? You push Randy aside <laughs> and hand yeah, the mop basically. over to Alpha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. At this point, Randy is just laughing. I know it's Stephen is just laughing. He chuckles. After Mary which, look. you give him the broom and he starts hitting the wall with it. <laughs> there you go, Alpha. You beat those walls clean. Yeah. Get that thing away from my generator. <laughs> Seriously. This unit will clean the generator and he starts hitting the generator with the broom. <laughs> no hitting the generator. I take my slam cannon. Get away from it! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Randy, put the cannon down. Alpha, away from the generator now. He looks. To, uh, Alpha looks to the cannon and he says, "This unit is detecting dangerous quantities of ectotototototoplasm." And he drives off towards uh, Randy with his arms stretched out towards the cannon. No! 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 no. Get away from me! Hold on. Check this out. Okay. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an athletics roll, and I'm going to do a flip. A uh, roll on the ground, and then I'm gonna flip up, grab the hand can or the slime cannon from his hand, and then I'm going to jump around, back around Alpha behind his back, and I'm going to put the slam uh, slime cannon on the ground and wrestle Alpha to the ground. <laughs> All in one. Motion. That's a high DC. Okay, roll it. Oh, Wait, apparently you, you pull it off. Never mind. You roll the six. Never mind. <laughs> yep. Even though I think Dries is like also with like a backpack with like slime tanks like stuck to your back, right? Mm-hmm. I unlock yeah. them as I jump up. Yeah, sure. You grab everything. <laughs> everything. Hey. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, no, that's private, dude. <laughs> and Alva starts uh, spew, uh, sp spewing more error codes as he's knocked down to the floor. Alpha, no attacking the generator or the teammates, okay? Exterminate John Michaels. Do I need to karate chop you again? Negative. Then it's stop with the extermination. Get up and play nice. <laughs> but he's playing okay. nice. Okay. Let's say you guys uh, later figure out, um, settle your differences. Probably somebody turned off uh, off at some point. He has an off switch. <laughs> I karate chopped it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he might need, need, <laughs> need some uh, repairs. 
But anyway, yeah. Uh, moving on, <laughs> because we have somewhere to be with this story. I yeah. know, right? <laughs> Next scene. Take it away, Nico. <laughs> well, hold on. Nico, welcome to Inspectors. <laughs> Hello. Hello. This is great. <laughs> right. Next scene. Uh, I am assuming it's an alpha-free office room. Which, yeah, yeah, which you turned I... them off. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, office room. He's, he sits in the office room, fiddling with his, with his smartphone, uh, browsing his contacts, and looking over... <clears throat> looking them over, and... Uh, I'm assuming he's looking for, I don't know, stuff. Do we have any kind of knowledge on on uh, where ghosts might go? Anything that is that supernatural might reside, or do we just kind of have yeah, a? Yeah, sure. You got a library for that, even. But yeah, this is the town of uh, Portal, Arizona. Uh, yeah, ghosts. There's there's been some paranormal activity in the past. Most people don't acknowledge it. it, it don't acknowledge it, but you guys know it's there. All right. Uh, is there a chance I might be able to use my contacts to be able to find some kind of job assignment, or rather, since uh, since since I've uh. seen the condition of my of my colleagues headquarters yeah. like thinking to himself like do we really want to make business here maybe if I actually, can find something actually Nico yes. let's say you've taken a look at their papers and their financial state and they actually made a uh, yeah a pretty decent amount of money last mission so uh, you think they could actually afford a new place nothing fancy but still it would be a big improvement on this basement here <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Sure. Small rump through their uh, financial records. I want to pull up my contact list and Oh, and their the financial real... records are in poor shape though. They they clearly need somebody to uh, organize all of this. All right. You you see him like if you if you'd be there you'd, you'd see like 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 a vein in his These head, guys like... are crap at business. You just just look at the equipment list and and like the rooms. Some of them are like super high tech, Star Trek level technology, and like other rooms are full of crap, like like the conference room. <laughs> or Alpha itself. No, Alpha Actually, itself is high tech. <laughs> Alpha <laughs> itself is, is is a marvel of technology. Sure, he malfunctions, oh. but he's but but he functions. Okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna pull up my contacts, find yes. a real estate agent that specializes in the more affordable side of, of real estate. Mm. <laughs> and because because this is a part of the story, and I want to move this along, you don't need to roll. You find one. Oh, cool. You're I'm like. Give him a call, then. You're like thinking to yourself, oh, you probably are like browsing on the site. And you find like this building that's like really cheap and it looks pretty big. So you're wondering to yourself, there has to be a catch. <coughs> right. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna do some. But, but yeah, there's a number on there you can call and stuff of the real estate agent. Nice. Well, you give it a call then. Yes, yes. Time for a call. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, uh this uh this this uh yeah. This this lady um answers the phone and she go she goes uh, uh Anderson Real Estate, how may I help you? Uh this is uh Stefan Daniels of the uh oh wait, this is Stefan Daniels calling. I'm uh looking here at your site this lovely piece of <clears throat> real estate you have for sale for an extremely affordable price and then I give the details of the of the uh, yes. location 
Ah yes, uh, the fun the, the former uh, funeral home. Yes, yes, it's uh, very, it has been abandoned for several years now. It's uh, yes, very reasonably priced. Are you? Uh, um, <clears throat> she seems a little bit nervous when talking about. It. Interested in it, sir? Why? Yes, yes, I would. Um, as it would happen, I can see with my little eye in my soul a tremendous potential in this. And it would be a terrible waste, terrible, terrible loss to let an opportunity like this go to waste. So perhaps we could talk business. Perhaps. Uh, uh, yes, yes, of, <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what would you like to know about building? Hmm, yes, uh, could you tell me why it was abandoned? It seems rather... Um, mm, question before I go any further. Is there any kind of, like, stuff that would stick out? Is it in a good location in the city, or... It's actually it, right that's, that's outside of, uh, the town center, so it's actually in a pretty good location. Ah, okay. Because this so, yeah. house is, like, more, like, near the edge of town. And this mm -hmm. is more centrally located, so it's a it's it's from a commercial point of view, it's a lot, it's a much better location. It's better for business. Yeah. All right. Uh, another question I have. And there I seems may. to be a small parking area there too. It's a, a you, you see like a picture of it and stuff like that. Behind the building, yeah, there's like a small parking lot. Yeah. His his eyes start to gleam. He's like. But there seem uh, to be very a lot of pictures from the outside. You see, like this, this, this lovely building. It even has like some stained glass windows and stuff. It like, like, uh, and, and like they're like uh, pillars. They're like pillars next to the door. There's like a little bit of a neoclassical style. At least they attempted a bit of a neoclassical style to the building. It looks really nice, but you don't see any pictures of the inside, and you find that very odd. All right, all right. I'm gonna let's say it's, um, look at the picture for a moment and go, hmm, why, why, what an extraordinarily designed building, but. May I inquire why there are no pictures of the interior? Uh, well, uh, let's see, it's, it's a bit of an oversight, yes, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but uh, uh, nothing, nothing too, too bad. That's, that's why the price is, is, so, is so low, it's, uh, some of the rooms are in a bit of a disrepair, and, and it's, it's rather old, but, but nothing that's not can't be fixed, and it's a, in a very lovely location right next to uh, the, the center of uh, a town. If you were to turn this place into a business, you'd immediately attract customers and she starts like spouting uh, just typical business talk but she's trying to avoid yeah. the subject of what's inside you can clearly okay. tell this as a businessman alright yeah <clears throat> still I'm gonna play the bluff <laughs> I'll play my bluff I am I am well established in negotiations not not go like I wanna know what's inside <laughs> and then he goes like hmm would it be possible get uh, access to the building, see the insides myself, I could make an estimate on what it would take to bring the place up to speed. Uh, uh, um, I, I'll bring down the price by another thousand. Indeed. Hmm. Very <laughs> suspicious. Uh, that's like... <laughs> Um, Apparently, she really doesn't want to want to give. She really doesn't want to give you a tour for some reason. <laughs> All right. As a member of the inspectors, does this spring up any kind of? Uh... Oh, from let's see, from a business point of view, I'm pretty sure this was. This is like, oh, this place must be a dump on the inside, like yeah. moldy, decrepit. Broken, yeah, but probably something... falling apart, structural yeah. integrity severely damaged, and stuff like that. Okay, um, <laughs> um, and again, have we done anything as the inspectors group before? 
Yeah, like I said, the just... first job was like like uh, slaying that one vampire in town, and uh, your second job was dealing with the ghost at the opera. So, and you weren't there for that. So you've only done two jobs. So you guys aren't really that well established yet. All right. No, I was just wondering if 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 the uh, the fact that she seems reluctant to give any inside information on the interior is the fact that it might be haunted. Do I, does that like spring into mind or is it just... No, you probably think point? there's something really wrong with it, structural integrity, damage, it looks like crap inside, stuff like that. Alright. Um, the price is rather enticing, especially yeah, she with just brought drop. it down by another thousand. It's yeah. practically a steal. That's, yeah, okay, then he goes like, Hmm, well, considering a discount of a thousand dollars, that is much too good to pass. Could I perhaps swing by and we can sign the documentary? Over dinner? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, of course, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll wait, come there wait, with the contract wait. and uh, I'll, I'll take the keys with you and uh, yes, you, you, you can uh, take the building off of my hands. <laughs> Guys? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna let you know, okay? First off, taking a thousand off of a building isn't that much. Indeed. Usually, buildings run anywhere between fifty to seventy thousand. Yeah, but if two hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, yeah, but maybe I don't know the true price either. No, it's it's uh, it's ridiculously low home. priced. Yeah. Okay. And then. Um, as for a documentary, no, sign the documents, please. Just sign the documents. Documentaries are those things that you see on TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> documentaries. <laughs> Bad. Nico wants just, just, just wants to find more fancy way to say regular things. Yes. <laughs> you is a dictionary, man. <laughs> So much Use effort. a dictionary, dude. Otherwise, I'm gonna karate chop your face. That's your answer to everything. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I'm assuming the rest of the call goes pretty much like ironing out the details and. Yeah, unless you really want to stress uh, that that uh, if really unless you really want her to tell you what's inside the building. Don't be a fool, bitch. Tell me what's inside. Let's let's make that thing uh, face to face. Put the uh, okay, cool. Uh, because over the phone he can while well, he can probably tell the stutter in her voice. We can in in, per, pop, in person he can monitor his like her like mm -hmm. does he fidget or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say you set up a meeting the next day and uh, yeah. Okay. Oops. All right, and uh, what else? You, is there anything else you want to take care of, or do you want to skip ahead to the next day? I think the rest of the day will go with Stefan managing his previous deals and whatnot. Guys, uh, can you think of anything that uh, maybe uh, Nico should do before he goes there? I'm so uh, forgetting something because you asked that. <laughs> Uh, not immediately, maybe balancing it out our checkbook. Well, yeah, he needs to help balance out the finances. Um, but I'm thinking, familiarize himself with the equipment. No, related to the building. That's what I meant. Oh, uh, do a background check on the building history. There you go. Ah. Uh. You've yeah. got like an entire library full of crazy newspaper clippings and and uh, paranormal magazines. All right. All if right. you're walking to that library, you suddenly hear cling, and then Randy slides in front of the door and this is my place, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you okay. want to know anything about supernatural stuff, come to me. Don't do it yourself, ask me. Well, that's the thing. I have a super fancy smartphone. Can I just look up stuff online? Sure. Roll like a dance. Yeah. Crap. Dude, 
no connection. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> oh, not like that. Never mind. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Old uh, three. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. Crap. <clears throat> Wait, do I get the wild eye thing? No. Ah. No, because you're in. Yeah, I don't know. Crap because basket has nothing to do with business deals. True enough. Well, technically it does, but I'll let it slide. You uh, discover that it used to be a uh, funeral home, but uh, they went out of business somehow. That's all you discover. <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I think I think I'm gonna go have a chat Hold with on. Randy. Actually, so no. You don't hmm? no. You know what? You don't discover they went out of business. The owner just uh, one day decided to retire, even though he wasn't that old yet, and he sold the place. That's all you discover. Okay. Got I'm it. gonna do a fancy athletic smooth that's going to involve a roll, a jump, and grabbing the smartphone and be like, "Let me see that." <laughs> oh, sure. Okay. Five. Oh, five, yeah, sure, you can do that. Yep. Okay. And you then can do I'm all the stuff. And then I'm going to obviously use my academics roll to see if I can find out anything. That'll be hilarious. <laughs> roll your one die. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> you're like, you're like, hey, dude, how do you work this thing? What is this? A voice recorder? I don't need that. And, and at this cool. point, St Stefan is probably getting really worried that he's messing up his phone. Yeah, because because he's like, that phone is really expensive. And also, his hands look phone. really greasy. <laughs> oh no! He's like, could I have that phone back, please? It was very expensive. And while his tone sounds calm, there is a sense of urgency to it. Yeah, like, it's give really, it back. Like, no. Yeah, I mean, I can see it in Steven's head. It's the same thing like giving that phone to a monkey, and you see yes. that monkey just <laughs> like, eating some oh no. <laughs> oh no! Oh <laughs> no! I can imagine it already, and for some reason, the monkey's wearing a karate gi. <laughs> Dude, that's why I'm sitting there pressing buttons, and I'm getting irritated. This fucking thing doesn't work. Damn it! God. It does work, just give it back here and I'll put it away. And Randy is now standing in front of his library door just fiddling with his sunglasses and say from Come back, eh? <laughs> Did you come back already for you me see, to investigate some stuff? John, you see John wipe his <laughs> nose and then grab the phone and hand it back. Grease! Uh, yes. Your ghost senses are tingling! You got a <sighs> feeling there's a ghost involved! In all of this. <laughs> so it seems you're not just trying to do some research about some natural stuff, but you want to learn some extraordinary stuff, do you? Uh, Stefan is currently creating his phone like it's the living thing that's been critically injured by some brute. <laughs> <sighs> he pulls <laughs> He's like pulls out a uh, linen, linen kind of handkerchief and just carefully, very carefully starts to wipe the phone clean, like meticulously clean. Now you see, and then you see John walk over to Randy and he's like, "All right, nerd, out of the way. We got some <laughs> info to find on this place. Da, 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 da. My rule, my rules. And Nobody gets in here without see. my permission." You Unless see you are a big monkey like you, I have no chance physically against. <laughs> then I'm screwed. <laughs> but still, <laughs> that's what I thought. Now get out of Ogre's way. <laughs> he just admitted he was a monkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I said get out of Ogre's way. Yeah, a smelly uh, one. Meanwhile, <laughs> Stefan is like brawn and no brains. <laughs> He turns around, excuse me, but I don't make fun of you for having no brawn, but all brains. So shut up, 
And let's get this done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say Stefan is a, entirely a stick. Sure, he's not buff either, but I'd say he's... Dude, oh. your athletics is a one. Your yeah, I'd, yeah. I just, uh, whatever. Fair enough. <laughs> a buff stick. Like a branch. No, you're a stick. You're more like a toothpick. Ah, oh, fair enough. Whatever. Whatever. You're I'm slender. Here. Same here. You're uh, wiry. <laughs> at least, at least he looks better than all of you combined. <laughs> Probably. Your face might look better, but not after I karate chop it. Obviously. So, guys, uh, that stuff. Yes. Let me do some research, okay, guys? Let me do it. I don't yeah, want well, any of you with your greasy monkey paws touching my delicate stuff. Hey, hey I don't have it. greasy hands, you brat. Well then hop to it, Skippy, because if your nerdy ass doesn't find the info, I'm going to karate chop ya. Okay, first of all, he takes out some pen and paper. What do you want to know? Everything. Be more specific. specific. I know it's hard for you to think, but be more specific. What do you want to know? Stefan just pulls out a picture on his smartphone and says, I need you to dig up some dirt on this place. The saleswoman was very sketchy on the details on the inside. I need to know if it's something. Uh, and I think it may be a pile of junk on the inside, but the price was tempting enough. Find any kind of dirt on the crematorium downtown. Yep. Ooh, right. Okay. That. Give me wow. one minute. While the nerd's reading the books, you have a lot of contacts in the business world, right? You could say that, yes. The dude who owned the place was a businessman, right? That he was. Why don't you use your contacts? to figure out what his business was and okay, see if yeah. you can find anything else on him. Let me roll for my... Yeah, let, let Dries roll first. Yeah, Dries, you can add your ghost die, by the way. Yes. Yep. This sucks! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Really? Are you, hap Five Are you happy with and... that roll? No, can I, I use my cool die or something or what was it? You can uh, use your cool die, but do you want to use your cool die? Shouldn't you use your can library I use my card? Library card? Yeah, use one of the library card dice. Don't jinx on me now. So four? Four, that's good, Tris. Okay, four. Uh okay. Let's see here. Take it away. Uh, For that role, you don't get to add anything, though. For that role, you just have to listen to me. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna grab your die. Hey! There we go. What? It's gone! And it's gone! 